have it here with Funtown RV. We're going to introduce you to your unit. We've got your uh, drivers here. We're going to make this walk. And we're going to make it quick. I move fast. If you got any questions, call Trey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Underneath the back slide out. We've got full walk space. Crawl all the way through. Uh, starter pack is on the other side. As we wrap around, I'll show you. It is lighted. Drain plug. And again, lots more storage space. Back up underneath. What's that little? Back up under these compartments here is access to your water pump. Oh, okay. To where uh, easy fix, whatever you may need to do. And again, they're aligned and it is drained. as well you got your city or excuse me water tank fill right here um, travel mode two-thirds no more uh, maybe less and I'll show you the operation of this how, for you inside how many gallons is uh, this one 20, 20 ounce, 20 ounce. Yes. outdoor furnace exhaust uh, winter time of course where this thing's going uh, you're gonna be running it it does get hot uh, be precautionary in the loop right there. Outdoor 110, waterproof surface. Propane accessibility, it has been filled. Uh, it's ready to go on and off valve, readable gauge, uh, basic unit. Filler, whole nine yards. Hot water heater unit, it is capped and plugged. Um, electric and gas, and it's going to changeable out on the monitor inside. Uh, anytime you drain this system and you know the water has been drained, you never put gas or electric in this unit until you come back here and you make sure you've got constant water flow. If not, that fiberglass tank will show. Outdoor entertainment, got to have it. <laughs> it is swimmable. But you also got your trash can for your galley accessible as well. Nice. More storage. These things don't waste no expense on storage. The around. shrimp pot won't fit in there, Doug. Keep <laughs> them on the boat. And I did note to him that there is that smart up there. That'll rub off. We do have the slide out talk rolling in the well. It has the turn signal cameras, and we'll demonstrate that on the inside. You'll be able to see it on the screen as it changes right to left, takes out your blind sides. It is triple sealed. You got the D seal on the outside, flap on the out, flap on the in. I like this. Generator compartment. This is an Onan OG 4000. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. Can't go wrong with Onan. Again, more storage. Tons of storage on this unit. It is a gas heater. Gas only. Okay, guys, the pressure you have on your 21 location is the pressure you have on the inside. Black tank flush. Um, everything is closed up. It's, it's in, it's in. Pull out, it's going to release. Um, always hit your black first, yep. back up with your gray, and then uh, after your gray is empty, push your gray back in, hit your black tank flush, run it for a minute, shut it off, pull and release. Close it, hit it again, pull and release. Getting any heavy sediments out, does have the outdoor shower, great day for that. Takes this weather, you gotta love it. Uh, more storage on the other side, pretty basic, pretty simple. And you'll have a water pressure regulator, water hose, and sewer hose in here. It so. does have the shorter power cord. This is the cord for this unit. It'll be rolled up and it'll be stored right here. Back side of the main coffin. Oh, they gave you a tote. Yep. We're ready to roll. They have the starter pack. 30 amp. Oh, it's got a protector. Yeah, surge protector, sewage, wheel chocks, water hose, water, toilet paper. Uh, scented uh, smell goods for your uh, latrine, yeah. and it is lighted. Drain plugs as well. Sensors. Oh, okay. 
seven wick for pulling in the back. It does have the stinger already put to the crank. Even though it's going to Alaska, I still recommend sunlight. Check your roof once a year. Pull up, check your dock core, all your seals. Uh, it's just a good way. Again, everything on this thing is triple sealed all the way around. switch your uh, equalizer for your leveling system and we'll see if we can go ahead and go through that real quick we're gonna hit power we're gonna let our board clear we're gonna go auto level okay. during the auto level system we don't want to be rocking around moving a whole lot uh, the system will drop every peg and then after it drops every peg then the computer will talk to itself and then it'll go through a full layout even on this incline that we're on right now even steeper going to raise the front to level out and then we'll make one more final adjustment and then we're clear. While that's doing that we'll go ahead and we've got the cutting board to flip off the top. You got your light switches for your awning and the second switch is up under here. So what's the battery switch there? Battery off and on switch. Uh, say you're going down the road uh, whatever you got stuff in the refrigerator that battery disconnect will allow you to run small amounts of power, it will keep the refrigerator cold. Um, you're not gonna be able to run a whole ton of stuff, no. but uh, it, it will allow you to run some things. I'm sure we're safe, we can really roll this on. All right, you're super quiet, super smooth. Um, never wanna over roll it because it will roll itself back. And if it does that, it will roll the experience. Yeah, when your rain guard drops, that's where you want to You can pull the awning go. down to adjust the pitch. Okay, we're done on this, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go all retract. Fire extinguisher at the door, and as we come around, you see uh, we'll come back to your main power station. Checking everything right here. Uh, the battery is, of course, full, fresh tank, gray, black, LP is full. Generator hours read uh, 4.3. That's what we do to, to gas it, fuel it, test it, run it through the cycle. Okay, you asked about the hot water heater. Okay, if you want electric, you come over to get electric, you don't have to do nothing else. If you want gas, and this is what I recommend, if you want a quick heat up, then come over, hit your gas, 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes really, and you've got good hot water. Once you know that water's hot and you've tested it at the line, you can shut that off, come back to electric, and electric will maintain uh, constant temp. Water pump, we're gonna run that dude right there. We'll test the water systems, uh, lining, pretty basic. Um, of course, your slide out operation, and uh, you guys can sit where you're at. I'm just going to go ahead and show it. It does jump, it does jerk, it's going to make some noises. It's supposed to, and it's just, it's that easy. Well, we'll have to crank it and run through it. I'll do that for you later. Um, power control system, you can come through here, you can scroll. We're a 30 amp service. Um, water's on the water shed, uh, shows you the power, everything. Um, right here is your CO, your carbon monoxide, and your LP sniffer. I'm going to tell you guys, those things don't lie. If that goes off, there is a problem in this unit. Evacuate, clear this thing out because unlike smoke alarm, the only way this thing shuts off is clear air. 
you can cup it, tape it, whatever, it's not going to go off until it reaches fresh air. Um, find your source, find your problem, and yeah, most of all, be safe with what you're doing. Come back here. AC operation, as you can see, you got the vent open. If you want direct cold air, you got a little flow here. Let's close this off. Now we got mass flow. These things are directional. It does have the blackout shade screens on them, or even though it's gray, it's still considered blackout. Uh, let's see here. Readers, that's a soft light. Come back again, got the reading light. It is flexible. Turn it off. It's just All touch operation. Touch, 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 touch operation, yes, sir. And they've got USB plugs. Yes, on the sides. On the sides. Um, this side on the bed does have a storage. Got big, big cabinets in this dude, both sides. Lights, beautiful. All the way. Yeah, it's sold about, so no swivel. Got the drawers, everything. And I want to show you something here. Watch this. Soft clothes. Nice stuff. Yeah. None of this bam, bam, and you're going to have to pull it a little bit to get it unlocked, so you don't have to worry about traveling or anything coming out into the floor. And each one of them, there you go. That's nice. That's pretty stuff right there. This unit, I'm not sure about storage oh. under. Yes. Yep. There you go. Another have another compartment as well. Yes. Could be a water tank under there, probably. Yep. 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 There's your water tank and some yeah inverter. Everything is right here. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Oh, there. There. Yeah. There. Slide out right here. Controls for this bed is right here on this side next to tray. And again, you got to have the key on and you got to have the emergency brake engaged to operate this slide out. What's this one? That's a light. Lights. Oh, right here's your air conditioning, furnace, everything on it, Dometic. I love it. These things will run you out of here. Because it's a double unit, you can freeze meat in this dude. Uh basic. One time it turns it on, second time. Must have had my finger over the microphone, but I'm sure that you understand how to use a the thermostat. I got room. Now, of course, I'm going to have to hold the handle up here, but okay, these showers, these things right here are double skin. This is your anti glare, and it does have a dome over the top to protect. Um, it is silicone, it's sealed. And it is glass. And I'm a big dude. I'm in there and that thing is not sinking. It's sturdy. And again, you come in, you're in travel mode. You're going to make sure that's locked because you do not want to pick that thing up after it's done. Again, everything turns. You can ventilate however you want. Let's see here. Point you want to come right here. Big luxurious bathroom all the way in the back. <laughs> Instead of the medicine cabinet, they put the medicine cabinet here on the wall all the way through. But I want to tell you guys, every 110 unit on this is GFI'd through right here. If you have a circuit that pops outside or somewhere on one of these walls, you come back here and you reset. Sink removal, water ready, hot and cold. Porcelain toilet, not plastic. Uh, it's Kickstarter operation. I say Kickstarter because I, I, I ride. Right? <laughs> Got the uh, cabinet space underneath. Let's see here. Well, night light again, sensor. Turn off, turn on for the exhaust. And just turn handle. Got to have the. Uh, Table is old school, so it's nothing much has changed here. Remove your legs, set your table down to your lip. Everything sits down, makes up to a you know mini full size bed, what we call it. Good cabinets. I like the hinges that they used on these things. Uh, any adjustments you would have to make would be back here on a set screw. 
But when we get them in, we make sure they're all level. Soft, soft play. This stuff, Sun Seeker is a little play. Got the uh, splash card all the way around. This is supposedly tempered glass, but I highly recommend don't cook off this thing and it's shut. It. Because I mean, if you're talking about glass. Uh, you want lighting, exit lights. Here's your igniter, here's your burners, all the way down your oven, microwave. So we'll go uh, turn everything on. That quick. Wow. One click. One more time. One click. It does have little travel locks right here. They're just rubber, push them in. That's sealed and secured. Okay. It is an electric only fridge. Yeah, electric only on the fridge. Just plug it in. Oh, you just plugged it in? That's easy. Uh, I like I like this this yeah. unit. Yeah. And we're only we're not even full cool. Yeah. So, so if you keep that going when you go down the road, you think the battery on. Uh yeah, you'll be alright. Travel lock, just pull it to the side. Yeah, it is convection. A lot bigger than most that you see in these units. The tan in all the drawers. We never put these on because I know where I want my toilet paper to sit yeah, and over your wheelchairs to sit. So we leave that up to the customer. service on the basic K uh, antenna. If you plug into a station that offers free satellite, whatever it is, or you put something on, come in here, press that light, turn it off, and now you, everything that's through your dish or whatever company you're using goes through your whole unit. Okay, so let's set up for antenna only right now. Yeah, perfect. Anything on the Connex that you put through here, and you got the USB or you got your charging on your fire stick, whatever you want to do. That's Bluetooth. Uh, you can do Bluetooth, you can do uh, AM and FM, <laughs> uh, however you want to do it. Okay. Uh, if you run a fire stick or whatever it is, a yeah. DVD player, any of this system through your auxiliary, it does play through your house system. Here you go, Frank. Let's see here. Should be preset. Uh, I know inside the building, see, we've already picked up two, three, four, should be six, maybe. Yeah. Seven. I haven't That's found eight. any. That's our RF. We're picking up RFs already. Here. We are on a Ford. We're 
I like the fact that they didn't go digital on the dash work. I'm old school. I like to be able to see my gauges. Yeah. I like to be able to see my gauges. Okay, you can see we're close the door. Now we're ready. We're back. Okay, even though we're listening to the radio, we're going down the road and then everybody's singing and going on. We make a right hand turn. I can see what's on my blind side. Oh, wow. That's nice. And uh, same on the driver. Back to the highway. Here we are. Nice. Back to your back. You got good, clear. Uh, no pixelation. Uh, everything is gauged. So you can see your radius even on your turns. And again, no pixelation, good screen. So we're going to come back. We're going to come back to home. I'm going to get off there. Oh, yeah. Really? There we go. Uh, we'll come back to home. We'll go to options. Uh, equalizer, EQ, uh, radio. You can do sound select. Um, pretty cool stuff. We'll go back home. Radio, SM, uh, Bluetooth, phone, rear camera. We'll go back to rear camera. Here we are again. Okay. So you can drive down the street and have the yeah, rear camera the on at all times. All the radios go. I, I like that. Um, um, now you have to turn the wheel to get that to go on. No, no that'll stay there until you hit home or go, hit go home somewhere else. Uh -oh. Of course, your hazard. Uh, again, USB charging all over this thing. Yeah. Uh, it's got the cup holders, storage locks. Uh, it is washable. It is rubber bottom. Uh, again, USB on the side. Everything's closable. Inserts. Uh, Based on the lighting. Auto, yeah. flood, lamp, uh, high beams, whatever you want. Then you set your dimmer. However, uh, set cruise control, guard mirrors, yes. Boom, boom. Speaker system for, you know, talking wherever you got your phone. Uh, dome lights. Pretty cool little unit. Other than that, everything is up front. You got door locks, power windows, all the bells and whistles that go with this dude. Um, rubber matting. Uh, Things happen, coffee spills. Uh, remove your floor, your carpeting that we place in here. Do your washout, you're ready to go. What's that red switch right that there? That turns on those mirrors. Oh, okay. Heat mirrors. So you can work left. No, 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 that, no. that's on. That that red switch is heat yeah, for the mirrors. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, it's heated it. mirrors. Oh, okay. Nice. So considering where it's going, you're gonna need some heated mirrors. Yes, sir. And I like these units. We drive them around here all the time. You don't get a whole lot of wobble out of them. The Ford chassis is sturdy. I, I like what they did on the sway on their on the rear end. So if it's shifting, then your rear end's turning without the whole unit bouncing you all over the place. Um, and it's, it does have a tilt. Washer. Um, Back your trip, your menu, change out what you want to change out. It does have the airbags. Ah. And even for a big guy, it's easy for me to get in and out of here. Um, guys, I think that's it, unless you have any questions. Okay, so engine's got to be running for the fly downs to come in. Engine running, emergency braking kits. Okay, and then uh, the hood release. Yeah, yeah, hood release. Uh, Break their things right there. Then you check the oil from the outside? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because I know it's got the flip ups on there. Right. Um, when we get okay. these in, we check uh, washer fluids, we look at the belts, even though it's a new unit. I want to see that we've got no wear and tear. Uh, outdoors look good, everything's clean, all the fluids are filled and capped. Um, we take a little bit of time on these these type of units. It's not, you know. Very nice unit. It really is. I like the color scheme in it. And the thing that I see that they're doing with a lot of these is we've got wood. No tape. If you notice that, no tape. We're, we're looking at wood. Solid countertops, no painted tape, no nothing. Solid. Perfect. Um, so the inside lighting switch to turn off all these lights is. Right here. Right here. Okay. Well, what about the stove light? 
Hello. Yeah, I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. Oh, here we go. Oh, right there. Okay. I like the flat bed and it's different, but I guess they did that because of the humidity of the microwaves up above. And uh, these underneath are shut off as well. Unless there's anything else, I've got to go over some stuff with you guys. I'll sign, you guys will sign. This will turn back into the packet on the buyer. Um, but basically, it's just I'm going to run right back over everything I just described. And then, uh, if you've got any questions, ask me. Uh, get them on the train, uh, be it the buyer.